Hi everyone, welcome to my latest class. If this is your first class with me, I'm Jen and I will be the one guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, check out my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life. You will get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and the work that goes into making classes like this one. I'm a huge advocate for sharing knowledge in accessible ways and I found that online courses and places like YouTube are great places for this and help me to connect to a diverse group of people looking to learn and grow. In today's class, I wanted to tap into our graphic design skills and have an adventure creating fonts using Affinity Designer and Glyphs Mini. I will take you through my whole process of creating a hand-drawn font from ideation, sketching, digitizing an Affinity Designer, and then getting your letter forms into the Glyphs Mini software for the Mac. I'm sharing my process as I find that often courses relating to font and typeface design are almost exclusively done in Adobe software. And I wanted to highlight that there are other options out there and that I found that Affinity Designer can be used to do really similar things. If this is your first time taking one of my classes relating to graphic design, I highly suggest you check out my previous design courses. I have a variety that cover topics like design for good, logo design, packaging design, layout design, and so much more. I have also some really helpful marketing related videos too if you're looking to grow your creative business. So what is this class about? In this class, I will walk you through my process on how to create a simple hand-drawn font. I will take you through my whole process of creating a hand-drawn font from ideation, sketching, digitizing an Affinity Designer, and then getting your letter forms into the Glyphs Mini software. Before we jump right into the font making process though, I wanted to share a quick mini overview on designing type. These tips are not exhaustive as I could do multiple courses on the intricacies of designing typefaces, but they will outline some of the most important things that beginners should know. We will cover things like typography, anatomy, basics, the difference between serif fonts and sans serif fonts, the different parts of a letter, and variables to keep in mind when it comes to designing type. Then we're gonna talk more about where to find font inspiration. We'll look at three of my favorite type design and font related design books, ideation when it comes to building out your letter styles, and then as we begin to create our font, we will apply those typography basics so that we can create a really cohesive and strong font. As we create our fonts, I will highlight some helpful tips to keep in mind for sketching and inking your hand lettering if you choose to start analog. I will also highlight though how you can skip the whole scanning phase and use the Pixel Persona in Affinity Designer to sketch out your concepts if you have access to something like a drawing tablet. Then we will digitize our letters in Affinity Designer. And if this is your first time using Affinity, no worries, don't stress. I will go at a comfortable pace and highlight important tools so that you can keep up. Finally, we will go over how to use Glyphs Mini and basically how to create your hand-drawn font and export it for use on your desktop. Make sure to check out the class resources for some helpful tools that you can utilize while working on your class project like a letter grid, tip sheet, and you can check out some font and type inspiration over on my typeface Pinterest board that I'll leave linked in the description box. If you wanna check out some of my design and illustration work, Make sure you check out my website at www.bellasofiacreative.com or you can also find me over on Creative Market. Just look up my name, Jennifer Lazan.